Good morning. I'm here in Florence, Italy. I just got in yesterday after like a 24 hour journey from Sri Lanka. Uh, so I'm a little jet lagged. It's only 6 a.m. here. But I'm on my way to go meet up uh, with the bus tour. I'm working with a tour group called My Tours in Italy. And today we're going on a tour of Tuscany. We're going to start out in Pisa, then do lunch in Siena. After that, we're going to go explore San Gimignano, which is not only fun to say, they also have really amazing gelato. I was just there a couple weeks ago. So I'm very much looking forward to getting more of the gelato. And after that, we're going to go have some wine in Chianti. Let's go. So fun fact about the Piazza del Campo, they actually have horse racing around the piazza twice a year. So it'll be once in at the beginning of July and again at the beginning of August. There's 17 uh, basically districts, neighborhoods. Out of those 17, 10 will enter horses and they'll put sand down around the piazza. And from there, the horses race around the basically like shell-shaped piazza three times whoever wins uh, basically they honor the horse not the rider which I think is really cool um, and if you're here during that time you can either stand in the middle for free or if you want to spend some money there's lots of balconies and things behind me you can actually rent those out according to our tour guide they typically start at around a thousand dollars a person so you want to be pretty wealthy to see the horse racing We're just walking down one of the oldest streets in Siena. Um, supposedly, this is where one of the very first banks, one of the oldest banks now in the world started. At least you've got somewhere to park it. So there are 17 different districts in Siena. Each of them has their own assigned animal. Um, and out of those, uh, I want to say it's like 10 get to actually have a horse in the race. As you're walking around Siena, you'll notice different light fixtures, like the one kind of right behind me that is um, an elephant, as you can see. Um, those animals represent all of the districts, so every district you're in, you're going to see a different animal being represented. Uh, so you'll see like elephants, fish, unicorns. So basically keep an eye out. Uh, it's a really good game if you're with the family. You can kind of do a little checklist and see who can spy each animal first. So I'm just at the baptismal of the Angel of Siena, behind me. This is where people enter to be baptized before they were actually allowed into the cathedral because back in the day only Catholics could enter the church. So now that we've seen this, let's go around to one of the other facades. This particular church has three, three facades, uh, which makes it very unique. 
This is also the only church that has the Batisero. Actually, more or less attached to the church. Normally, they're separate. This one is underneath the cathedral. And we're just about to go up some steps to see the last two facades. Behind me, you're gonna see the last facade of. Oh, there it is. The last facade to be built for the Church of Siena. Uh, they started building it and then the plague came, so they had to stop. Uh, and they just never got around to finishing it because by the time the plague was over, Siena was no longer the most powerful city. That honor had moved to uh, Florence. And so they just left it. The cool thing though about them getting the plague is that Siena actually became the very first place in the world to have a hospital. They, unlike most cities, opened their gates, let the sick people in and treated them, which is pretty amazing. So now we're at the front of the Church of Siena. You can see it behind me. This was the first structure to be built. Um, still obviously very popular today. It was built with multiple colors of marble. Uh, specifically, it looks like black and white. However, the black's actually really dark green. And in the interior, you'll see what they're most famous for, which is a carpet made of marble. It sounds pretty epic. But uh, the line's a little long, so I'm gonna skip it and walk over to the Salvador Dali exhibit that I missed the first time I was here. Here we go. Now I'm in the Piazza del Campo, uh, you can see behind me, it's a nice little church tower. Um, it's actually not a church tower, it was a government building. So this used to be the center of uh, Siena, it still basically is. Um, if you look on the ground, you'll see, you can kind of see the dividers, there's nine of them. They represent the nine people that were in government when Siena was at its height, at its height of power. Behind me is what's known as the Fountain of Joy. Basically, uh, it's fresh water, you can actually drink it, that's brought down from the mountains and basically goes through a bunch of tunnels and ends up here. Next stop, wine tasting. Okay, so we just had a delicious wine tasting and now we're in San Gimignano and obviously my first priority is gelato. So here we go.
so I'm just outside of Gelateria Don Domi. Uh, you can see there's a pretty solid line, that's what it is. But uh, gelato's worth it. I got a peach, lemon, and mango. I highly recommend getting the fruit flavors. The other flavors are nice too, but the fruit, you can just tell it's really fresh. So I'm gonna go enjoy this and uh, we'll see where we end up next. made it to our final stop on the tour, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Um, I'm super excited because this is actually my first time here. This is the first city on the tour that I've actually been to. Uh, unfortunately, we're only here for like a half hour, mainly just to see the tower, but uh, I did get the iconic picture holding up the tower, so that's something. And uh, the jet lag's definitely kicking in, so I'm just on my way to find some Coca-Cola to uh, stay awake for the rest of the trip. First impression of the tower, I've got to say I thought it was going to be a little bit taller than it actually is, uh, but I feel like that's with most things with Instagram these days. It generally like looks a little more grand in photos than it does in real life, but uh, at the end of the day when you consider how old it is, it's still pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. 